I mean, it's super crowded right now, and it's boring. Right. <laughs> it would be way more crowded on a very sunny day. And if they had just one person selling coffee, he'd be rich. It'd be <laughs> like someone struck oil. The fact is, I haven't seen any so liquid being sold you, at all. Just so that you can walk with a coffee. Oh, there's a couple that have yeah. coffee. So yeah. you have to go and get it before you, before you come, come you to the market. You have to know that they don't sell coffee. Right. Been looking all over for coffee. <laughs> and we found it. We found a coffee truck. How <laughs> how incredible is that? This is this is my makeshift umbrella. My, my little hat here. So we spoke too soon. As soon as we filmed the part about wanting some place that it would be great if they had a place for coffee. We immediately came upon this wonderful coffee truck. And amazingly, there's not a long line at it. No. So we're excited to get our coffee. Okay, how are you feeling about our time in Lyon now that we're getting ready to head to Geneva tomorrow? We have one full day. It's uh, about 11 a.m. on Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, well, our first day and a half in Lyon was the weather was really nice. It was warm, it was sunny. At worst, it was overcast. And uh, the last two days have been, yesterday particularly, it was cold and rainy and may as well have been snowing even though it wasn't. But the rain was even worse, it seems like. Uh, today it's just, it's colder actually, but it's not raining and it's not windy, so it's more tolerable. So um, uh, the weather, yeah, I think, is living up to what Nice, I'm sorry, Lyon is supposed to be. Um, I said Nice at first too. That's why I'm laughing. I'm like, so what are your impressions of Nice so far? Mm, we're not in Nice. We're in Lyon. <laughs> so Lyon has surprised me with the shopping. Shopping's really pretty good here. Um, the food is, you know, I, I know I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to drool over the food. But to me, it's been okay, but uh, nothing spectacular. We went on a food tour yesterday, and although it it was really overall great because Charlotte, who was our tour guide, was fantastic. She told us so much information about Lyon, things that we didn't know, like the fact that. Not just Lyon, but France in general, that they served uh, their children wine during school, like during lunch break. It was wine, not milk. And that didn't end until, I think it was the 1950s that 50, 50, for, for children under 12. Right. If, if you were six or older, you got served. You got served wine. And then it wasn't until 1982. 85. 1985 that they discontinued serving the wine to anybody to anybody and that the law in France is interesting in that 
you can't purchase alcohol until you're 18, but you can drink alcohol <laughs> before you're 18. So there's no law about drinking alcohol, just purchasing it. So, I mean, many, many other interesting facts, but because of what we do and our, you know, our backgrounds, we found that very interesting, but it poured, like yeah. really poured. And, the and the wind was howling. And it was, yeah, really windy, which made it feel so much colder. So that put certainly a damper on the tour, but the tour itself was really good. Sure. The food was good, not spectacular, but it was really good. I think the best meal we've had is our first dinner, Absolutely. the first night Absolutely. in Lyon at um, day... Uh, no chance I'm going to remember that. <laughs> I'll but it was it, really good. <laughs> was you have really to put good. it at the bottom of the screen. I will. It's so good. If you're ever in Lyon, uh, Lyon, then we highly recommend that you check and, it out. And it's in an area that you wouldn't expect to find this. Really hidden. And you walk in, and it's shockingly uh, eclectic, but gorgeous. Mm -hmm. uh, the whole place is painted scarlet, including the ceiling, um, and it's got all kinds of. Uh, trinkets and whatnot that you don't see in restaurants it's just you have to you have to go there the food was really really good really the good. food lived up to what i expected in Lyon. delicious and the presentation yeah. was amazing and we learned um at least i i can don't necessarily want to speak for you but for me i learned that we really want to go to those restaurants that are off the beaten path yeah. you don't want to you certainly don't want to go to restaurants that are very close to the main monuments because you're going to spend more and it's not going to be as authentic. Right. So he taught me how to search for restaurants and find really good ones and I hit a winner yeah. with, with this one. Well, I think that's the same is true in the U.S., right? If you want the best mm -hmm. Italian restaurant, it's going to be a hole in the wall somewhere and you're going to think that it's just the restaurant you're going to walk in and love it. Uh, because of the authenticity this was all of that yeah. and it wasn't that expensive i think for both of us the entire meal including appetizer and dessert was 113 euros right so that wasn't and keep in mind we don't drink alcohol so right. if you you know drink alcohol which most people do that it'll be a bit more expensive than that but it was still very and, very reasonable and you don't tip in this country so the 113 was the price of the food and that was it so we are we are getting ready to just enjoy our last day here uh, in Lyon. We're going to head to the market, one of the markets here. We've been to it already, but we're going to go and check it out again because on Saturdays it's supposed to be a bit more expansive than it is during the week. We're going to search for a good place to have dinner tonight, and then tomorrow we head to Geneva. So right. we'll see you there. And tomorrow's Super Bowl Sunday. And tomorrow's Super Bowl Sunday. And who, who are you rooting for, Tony? Um, <laughs> Your Niners, for sure. We'll see. We'll 60 see years. Wins. Yep. All right. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.